Open Monday. From Oregon. Yeah. We got picked up. We are loaded. And we are heading out. We picked up in Oregon. And where are we going? V uh, Virginia. Virginia. Yep. A little over 3,000 miles. Woo. Nice long one. Big long one. They nice. wanted us there Wednesday. I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's happening. Yeah, by the time we got loaded, it was 11 o'clock local time. So that's like 2 o'clock eastern time so yeah, yeah. in 3,000 miles yeah depending it's all going to depend on how late they receive Wednesday mm -hmm. we'll uh, be in contact with our person there tomorrow and 50, just touch base but 3,000 miles is 55 hours so yeah uh, mm. we'd make it late Wednesday probably which like nine o'clock I think yeah but we've got one piece at <clears throat> 1,700 pounds not a bad not a bad run no yeah yeah and we're hoping to get one more we deliver this thursday morning hopefully we can get one picking up thursday friday for over the weekend and that would be nice that would be excellent day. <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens yeah we're watching for loads and seeing what I mean, comes we've seen some short ones i was even uh checking the qualcomm or the low board and Nothing, nothing, nothing tickled our fancy. Nothing. This is a, <clears throat> we're on a little, uh, like a back road, the Klamath, 140. Going through Klamath <sighs> Falls area. Yeah, and we'll be passing by Crater Lake, like passing by the road you take to get up to Crater Lake, which is yeah. another thing on my bucket list. We'll get there one of these days. Monday, Monday, we're yeah. gonna. Unfortunately, we don't have time to do it right now when we're loaded. Yeah, I think we got about 300 miles maybe 350 a back road so mm -hmm. should be a real pretty drive but yeah it's she, beautiful back here she's knocking out some miles i'm laying down laying down gonna let these babies out she's breaking all my lights <laughs> <laughs> your lights are faulty they're we, not i faulty. just charged them up how come they're like dead already because you didn't charge them properly i don't know you broke them mm. you're gonna have to buy me some new ones now <sighs> i'm tired he is tired. He's grumpy <laughs> when he's tired. So, all right. Well, go to bed, and I'm, I'm going to knock out bed. some miles. Let we'll the dogs catch out. catch up with you guys all later. Right, bye. evening you guys late tuesday evening man from the struggle bus yeah <laughs> the struggle bus oh that is no gosh. lie y'all never really see this side of us but yeah. i mean we talk about it we before, talk about but it man we both struggled on our shifts jason's shift last night he was struggling i only I've finished been, so i only drove nine hours yeah, yeah. I, I struggled today neither one of us got good sleep you didn't get good sleep yesterday before you took over yeah i only got like two hours sleep yesterday yeah i didn't get good sleep before i took over this morning and so since Jason didn't get good sleep, of course he was struggling. So he pulled over. If we're tired, I, I'm not. I'm. I wasn't tired to the point today where I needed to pull over. But we will pull over if we're super tired. Like I did this drive. morning. I just. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this. But no yeah, more. he pulled over, and so I got up and I started my shift. I was right at ten. I was probably about quarter. Tw I had about fifteen minutes before I hit my 10 hour break. Yeah, so I pretty yeah. much started right after my 10 hour break this morning, which was super early. Like I think it was like nine or 10 o'clock this morning. 
The biggest problem for us was the customer, I couldn't get no sleep yesterday because Landstar kept calling my phone. Uh, Even though on my voicemail, I, it's, like I say, if you were calling after such and such time, 12 o'clock, uh, most likely I am sleeping. Please give Heather a call just to let them know. I, I'm, I'm in the sleeper berth right now. Don't, don't bother me. But she kept calling me and she left me <laughs> voicemail after voicemail and said she couldn't find Heather's phone number. And I was like, what do you mean you can't find Heather's phone number? We've been with you guys three and a half years already. What do you mean you can't find Heather's yeah. number? And, and she was calling because we were out in the middle of nowhere. We came across um, uh, 140. Uh, 140, yeah. The which I drove most of last night. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It was a beautiful back road. No, yeah, it was but beautiful. The, oh my gosh, there was one point where like I was driving up the side of a mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we yeah. might have got some of that. Footage, yeah, we did. But, but yeah, they. It's like, how, yeah. How do you not have my phone number? And the, we've had this issue before with some agents saying they couldn't find my phone number as a backup And we've number. lost out on loads because of it. Yeah, so. And of course their recommendation was to leave my phone number on the voicemail. My phone number on his voicemail. Yeah, but the problem with that is all these scammer calls that we get these days, you know, I'm just giving out another number for those. And I get, God, telemarketer calls like every, Every day, yeah. every day we're getting junk calls, you know, just absolute junk calls. A lot of them tell our marketer, but a lot of them are people, actual people. So it's like, no, I'm not gonna leave my phone number on there. When an agent or you guys click on my truck profile, it should give all our contact information. Okay. We, drivers are Jason and Heather. We have a primary phone number, secondary phone number. I don't understand why that's such a big thing. And yeah. it's, it's because Landstar's system is so out of whack. It is. And I called and complained about it today, but they were just like, they were, oh, well, we're working on a new system. I'm like, yeah, you guys, well, I've then, heard that since orientation. And then I think when she's saying something about, well, it depends <coughs> on what system they use. There's two different systems. Because there's Ranger, and Express. Then Express and... It should be the same on both. It shouldn't matter what system. I mean, we're both drivers for Landstar. We're right. both in the Landstar system. Right. She's a BCO. I'm a BCO. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it, but I don't know. I guess did she say she was going to try to fix it? I absolutely no help at all. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> there were absolutely no help at all. Um, oh my gosh. Pretty much. And it's funny, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, I, I seen them, uh, a lot of the agents and uh, Landstar complaining that drivers weren't showing, like when we get a load and we're committed to a load with an agent, but it doesn't show in the system that we're under a load yeah. and so agents are wasting a lot of time calling drivers which i understand you know i mean if a driver isn't available they shouldn't yeah. be calling them but they don't know because it doesn't show in the system and it's just another flaw in their system yeah. you know but then they they want to throw the buck off on the driver saying that it's it's that we need to start making sure our agents send us the load confirms so that we show in the system i'm like wait a second but how how does that fall on us you know <laughs> i accept the load you, you you guys need to be talking to the agents about that not the driver why, why does it fall down on us you know but then you can't help us with a simple phone number contact yeah. but it's I, also, i'm pretty frustrated with landstar right now it's also bad for us too because if if we're going to a certain area, if we're not showing that we're going to that certain area, then an agent in that area may do a truck search and we're not showing up, but we're going to be delivering right, there. Right, right, right. Um, but just like the, the phone number thing today, for instance, an agent called Jason's phone. He was sleeping. I'm assuming he left you a voicemail. He did leave a I, voicemail, I, I, but I, I was out. Jason's phone ring. I was out. And um, I didn't know who it was. And then probably... A half an hour later, a load came across. I was like, oh, that's not far from where we're delivering. So I called the agent. I'm like, hey, did you get this load covered? Is it still available? He was like, oh, yeah, I called Jason's phone. And I'm like, <laughs> and then he said he didn't have Heather's number. Yeah. So, so that was a load we could have missed out on if Heather didn't yeah. call fast enough on it yeah. because somebody else could have called on it. Yeah. And, and, you know, maybe oh, some people so say, will say, well, why don't you keep Jason's phone up here <laughs> while I'm driving? Well, first of all, it's... 
I'm driving. I can't be screening calls on your phone. Right. I've already got to watch my phone if somebody right. calls right. and watch the call. Gone. Watch what I'm doing driving. But yeah. it's just it's just one of those frustrating things. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's pretty frustrating. The whole waking us up and not being able to sort out our contacts for us. I mean all other companies can do this this is pretty a pretty basic thing yeah when and we when we were at panther they had both our phone numbers oh, yeah. they had no issues calling either one of us yeah yeah so yeah i don't i don't know I and mean, we're just and, yeah, complaining and, and sorry no but no yeah but sharing it's this whole thing that's <laughs> kind of made it hard for us to get some sleep you know and of course we're crabbier right now because we're we both are tired crabby. yeah well, well you I, got I, no I you got some good today. sleep today i though. slept all day i slept like you'll be good 10 tonight. hours yeah i slept 10 hours hours today I'm, yeah. I'm good well i woke up for like an hour because of a phone call yeah uh, just some of the struggles we go through i know we don't share them all the time and yeah, we talk yeah, about stuff yeah. sometimes but we just wanted to kind of share that because it's not all honestly, peaches and creams for us no honestly on a day like this when we have these we probably wouldn't even have did a clip we would have just waited till tomorrow to do a clip but yeah yeah i told jason i was like nope let's get on i want to share this with you guys so yeah, you can kind of yeah. Get the, and some people may think, oh, that's stupid. Y'all shouldn't be concerned about that. And yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah. you know, some of the stuff we go through, and we're not the only ones that go through it. I can guarantee you there's tons of drivers out here, whether expediting in a tractor trailer, in a van, whatever, go through the same issues. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, speaking of tractor trailers, I was driving. God, where was I? Well, I think I was still in, in Wyoming, or was I in Nebraska already? I don't remember. But an 18 wheeler comes up beside, and that, that I look over, and it was <laughs> it was a, a husband and wife that we met them. Gosh, it's it, been a while. Yeah, we took a picture with them but, and yeah, chatted they with came them by for a while. Waving at us, yeah, so yeah, that was funny. really cool. Where are we at now? Nebraska. We're in Nebraska. We're about almost an hour to from our, Lincoln City. Yeah, yeah, we're almost uh, right before Lincoln. We cut off to get on that two to cut across yeah. to the 29. Yeah, go down towards Kansas. Yeah, we got about. I can get down there through late, late, early morning. Uh, miss all the traffic oh, and stuff yeah. we got about 1420 miles jason talked to our contact at our delivery so they know we'll be there first thing thursday yeah. and we do have another load lined up we do we do I, called. I got that load yeah. which we'll talk about yeah. in the next vlog next vlog yeah it does but... pick up this week but not till friday and so. the, yeah and then we can't deliver i didn't even realize that there was a holiday monday columbus yeah. day yeah. which yeah. that's probably when you'll be seeing this vlog on columbus day so yeah. happy columbus day well, happy columbus day <laughs> oh Wait. my gosh i went through all that <clears throat> smoke in wyoming you were talking about oh yeah when we yeah, went up yeah. there because I, I was smoldering yeah, it's, yeah oh my eyes I, my eyes are burning i don't know if it's from going through all the smoke or just, or tired. just tired probably a combination <laughs> of both a little bit of both i'm ready to hit the hay I'm ready to hit the road. Yeah. I got a good sleep time. I'm ready to go. All right. Well, let's let's knock out some miles. Knock it out. I'm going to sleep. That's sweet dreams to me. Sweet dreams to you. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>
we got plenty of time to get there. We can't show up early, so I'm gonna chill out here at this little truck stop we found for three, three or four hours. Get a little bit closer and see what see what I do. I, I, fig, I always figure it out. Yeah, it's hard though over on the east side. Like it is trying to find parking. It, yeah, yeah. It's it's difficult <clears throat> trying to find parking spots to stop and kill a little time or something. You know, especially and, late in the, in the evening like oh this because yeah. they're done pack. I'm lucky we got a spot here. Yeah. So. Well, it's funny that we're, we were in a spot then a guy parked like right in front of us so we couldn't leave and so i was like well no you can't park there you're blocking me in if i do need to leave and so i honked my horn at him and he came over he's all are you leaving i'm like um i was planning on leaving so he pulled up behind us and then i was like then a spot opened up like two spots down and i didn't i wasn't going to tell him to move so i just <laughs> moved out of the spot left to him have it and then backed up into this yeah. spot and so i'll just kill time here yeah now. and i'm gonna hit the hay yeah yeah when we talked to the contact oh i don't know was it yesterday or day before after we, yeah when we picked up yeah uh was that yesterday 8 30 yeah it was yesterday morning yeah. 8 30 is the earliest they can uh offload us come and get us yeah because we have to go to the guard shack then uh get a pass to be able to get on the facility and then they'll, they'll send somebody to take us where we offload yeah, so. and offload us so yeah, yeah. But, one of them things yeah but man uh, my job <coughs> was a lot better today i wasn't as tired yeah <laughs> that makes it a lot nicer and it, I think it makes a difference too, like, because yesterday when I was driving, it was mostly through Wyoming, Nebraska, which was pretty uneventful. Uh, not that it's not beautiful out there, but the drive today was a little more hills and, you know, windy roads, yeah, which yeah. aren't always the greatest to drive on, but it's just a, keeps you more alert, I think. Yeah, it keeps yeah. you more on your toes, you know, and gets you, gets you more interested in stuff. When, yeah. you're, when you're driving on just flat, Straight, nothingness it's boring. like mm, yeah <laughs> could, could it go by any slower yeah <laughs> <laughs> especially when you're driving 62 when you're, 63 when you're taking them curves at 62 63 oh, you feel God. like you're in a nascar race yeah you gotta slow, down, like, slow down. Ah, nah. yeah. <laughs> even though you're only going 62 <laughs> yeah and there's still 18 wheelers flying by blowing by you oh my gosh yeah i'm but, like how do they not flip over i know right big old heavy trucks well yeah. they got the weight to hold them down too so yeah I guess. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I would have the nuts to take those curves in a big 18 wheeler. No, I trailer. slow it down in this. Yeah. I can, can or, imagine. or even the wiggle wagons, the oh. double trailers oh, going I know. through that. Oh, yeah. Like that's nuts. That is Y'all are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Craziness. But yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and end this vlog here. We'll pick up the next one after we get this delivered. And yeah, we pick up our next one Friday. So that'll be in the next vlog as well. Will it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll be running over the weekend. It's not really far either, too. No. Yeah, so. But we'll talk about it once we get we'll, it picked up. Yeah, we'll, You know how, yeah. how we are about that. That'll be on, <laughs> that'll be on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Babies are doing good. Oh, Tyson's back on his liquid medicine this week. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to get a clip of I, him yeah. to make that pain. Yeah, we got to do that. We'll get that. We'll get that this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it. He hates it. It's so funny, though, the face he I makes. I know. Poor guy. Um, All right. Well, thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. And tell our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Are you ready? Are you ready? Try, try, try to not drop my mics anymore. <laughs> Whoops, I gotta turn my, oh, you I turned my mic on? I already turned it off. We are both connected, good <laughs> to go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> hit the same button. <laughs> Do I know what button to hit? I don't know. <laughs>